Good morning and uh, welcome to another Memphis Monday. If you want to see how I built this massive 13 drawer stackable toolbox for my buddy, then stand by because that's what we're going to do today. Okay, here's an overview of the stackable tool chest. Each uh, layer has two drawers. Uh, they are uh, supported by 100% 100% .100 retractable uh, drawer slides. Uh, the top and bottom is uh, plywood. The front is first thing we're do is, is cut the uh, back sides and center pillar for the uh, uh, drawer box. Seems like when you're making drawers everything you do has to be uh, just about perfect. More about that in a minute. This is the uh, high quality quarter inch plywood uh, that I'm uh, using for the drawer bottoms. I'll go ahead and cut up all this stock so we can concentrate on assembly, which is the uh, interesting part. Absolutely critical is uh, that everything is plumb, uh, square, and and measured down to, you know, uh, down to at least a. a a sixteenth or, or a thirty-second. Okay, let me uh, show you how I solved this it problem. It all has to be totally square and the measurements exact. So, let me show you how I've, uh, I've come up with a jig to uh, set up this Okay, the uh, jig box. consists of what look like two drawers. Now, I, I took the time to exactly measure and true up these two boxes then I basically go around and attach the frame to the jig using clamps the jig there is on the inside and the frame for the box for the stackable drawers is on the inside and everything is uh, perfectly true and plumb and square this center pillar here is correctly positioned and now all I have to do is uh, nail these up these corners that frame. just held together with two and a half inch finish nails. What I'm doing here is applying glue to the bottom and then I'll set the whole contraption right on top of it. Now here nail I'm nailing it. from the underside and, and notice I'm keeping the uh, nail gun at 90, 90 degrees or perpendicular to the uh, direction of the board. That will keep the nails from bending out and blowing out. Okay, what I've essentially done here is I've put the bottom on with the entire uh, box still attached to the jig. Okay, this, uh, the jig may come out kind of hard because uh, remember, oh, that didn't come out hard. Because remember, there's glue. I put uh, glue down, but that one didn't come out hard. We just got the box finished and we're already in installing drawers. Memphis, how could that be? 
Okay, I'll show you what I'm going to do next. Okay, some people take these uh, sliders apart and other people don't. Uh, these sliders come out and there's a little deal here you can take loose and then you attach that to your drawer. I don't do that and I'll show you why uh, later on. But right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually attach this slider to the inside of the drawer. Well, you you might have uh, you might have thought, well, Memphis, that's a pretty uh, ingenious box jig there. But where's your jig for the drawers? Well, you just saw me build it. Um, by installing those by installing those runners see uh, already now I can just build my drawers exactly inside uh, the okay, just put nails up in these uh, corners here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over in the jig and put the other side on. Okay, as you can see here, everything is uh, built as a unit. Uh, and now I'm going to be installing so what the I'm bottoms. using to uh, hold the plywood back on are these uh, one inch staples you just got to be careful that when you put them in you put them in they want to flare out the reason these things hold so well is because they don't just go in straight they go in all kinds of different directions and they want to flare out so when you put them in you want to put them in 90 degrees so that they flare out, they don't blow out the sides. Well, there comes a time in every, every project where you find out if the bear is going to get you or if you're going to get the bear. And we're about ready to solve the bear equation hey, here's right that bear now. I was talking about. If all that yammering about uh, precision, uh, if any of it sunk into my head, this should fit, the drawer should fit directly between these two sliders with no gap. Okay, it uh, looks like we got the bear this time. Click. Click. Okay, on, on the uh, prototype here, you can see that the front is uh, clear pine. It's four inches, four inches wide. It's rounded over here with a round over bit. The handle sits in a about a 3 16 inch rabbit and underneath right under there there's a slot to grab a hold of to when you want to pull it uh, pull it in and out okay let's uh, go over the router table and okay, make first this piece. operation I'm going to I'm going to round over three sides of the front 
and one side of the handle. Now to make the little groove right underneath the, uh, the little finger groove for the handle, I'm going to use what's called a three-quarter inch round nose now, I only bit. want I don't want the groove to come all the way out the end. So what I'll be doing is I'll be starting it about two inches from the end and then pushing it through to the uh, matching starting point on the other side. Okay, uh, now to uh, make the rabbit for this handle to fit in, it's going to be a three-quarter inch rabbit right along this edge right here. And, and this handle will fit in there like that. Okay, to make this uh, rabbit, I'll be using a three-quarter inch straight bit. Yeah, these go together real easy uh, on these fronts. All you gotta do is lay a little bead of uh, glue down on them. Not too much. Stick your handle on there. And then shoot it with a couple of uh, few nails. The drawer fronts are uh, completed now. Uh, the only operation left to do on them, besides installing them, is round over these uh, corners on the end. And we'll do that over the sandwich. Install the, uh, the bottom. We install the bottom using uh, glue and 3 8 inch plywood and uh, long staples. But we want to be able to get the back off if we ever need to service the uh, drawers, we need to be able to get to them. And so to that end, this is being attached with a whole bunch okay, of screws. The next thing we do is install the uh, drawer fronts. And when you see how easy it is, you're probably going to want your money back. Now all I have to do is countersink some holes. And that's all there is to it. And bingo, we have a drawer. Well, I, did, I say we did pretty good. The drawers come out all the way. These are 100, town, 100 pound uh, uh, drawer, drawer slides. I click close. Okay, three more to build. Well, how many of you thought that I'd be able to finish that project yesterday? As soon as I uh, projected finishing it yesterday, that ought to have been a pretty good indication that I wasn't going to finish it yesterday because my my estimates are always wrong it seems like got uh, 
Five done plus the long one over there, so we got one more to do. This table's about ready to give out. All right, let's uh, let's get this last one done. I got the uh, stock cut out. Um, I got the jigs ready. Got the tools ready. So let's knock off the chatter and continue working. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make these uh, drawer fronts first. Well, there they are. I think it's kind of funny. I thought I was going to get this project done in one day. Let me uh, set up my uh, sanding station and uh, knock the rough edges off. What I'm doing here is uh, <clears throat> sanding, sanding the boxes down so I can put a little finish on them. Hey, that'll do it for another uh, Memphis Monday. Uh, appreciate you tuning in today. Uh, we got our massive 13 drawer stackable tool box finished. I'm not going to put the final finish on it yet because I need to talk it over with my buddy and find out what kind of finish he wants. Uh, but I think it's a pretty fun project and I hope it, uh, it's useful to him. 
Uh, anyway, you can tweet me and you can Facebook me and you can email me and you can do all that stuff, but really what I want you to do is I want you to comment and I want you mostly to be back here next week for another exciting Memphis Monday. Thanks for watching.